Good evening, Final Fantasy Randomizer fans, and welcome to a Thursday night matchup of winter double anti bingo action between Demon Frog and Rojo. I am Luffy, joined in the booth tonight by Lord Fizzlebeef. How you doing tonight, Fizzle? Hi, I'm doing good. Everything's great. I'm here for bingo times. Let's bingo. Let's go. Yep, that's right. Bingo, bingo. We are in the deepness of the tournament right now. Very exciting matchup tonight between two great runners, Demon Frog and Rojo. Uh, Demon, founding member of the Trash Island Fire Department, here to here to do great with uh, Fighter Red Double Black. I love it. I mm -hmm. love it so much. Mm -hmm. uh, versus Rojo, someone that I've had the pleasure of racing multiple times and has a tendency to surprise you every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And we're off. Um, uh, level 1 nuke seems good. Yeah, three casters too. Gotta love that. Mm -hmm. And level 1 white magic is white magic. So yeah, we got our... We got our nuke casters uh, already an advantage to Demon for having three nuke casters as opposed to two. Mm -hmm. of a minute we're outside of canaria and we're headed for the temple of fiends and oh, blazing that's gonna be fun early on <laughs> now hang on because here's here's a fun thing uh we've got this thing on the board mm. we've got sea of fire elemental skill or spell now to note we're we're doing double anti bingo we're forced into row two. Both runners forced each other row two. Mm -hmm. We gotta come up with another bingo. Seeing a fire skill that early, if I see a Maza as one of my first things, oh boy, am I gonna be looking at that row four. Yep, yep. You're gonna need a few more key items, like the cube and the uh, chime to make that happen. Mm -hmm. But to have four of those filled out in literally under two minutes, that feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're headed to Sky anyway with our Dia kill, mm -hmm. so that would be good. But Rojo has made the decision that, nope, we need cabins and houses. Not the worst decision, because cabins and houses are invaluable. I did a bingo seed where, um, it was a practice seed where tents were floater locked, and I was forced into no cabins and houses. So basically it was no saving except it ends until I got the floater that I last location. Uh, what uh, what absolute monster gave you that? <laughs> Someone who enjoys giving me good practice seeds. <laughs> but, um, so I, re I respect the choice that, no, I need houses. Houses are amazing for grinds. If we decide we need to grind someone into orbit, cabins are way more plentiful in item shops than tents are. Mm -hmm. I, under I understand the decision, but it's real hard to throw away one square in a row that already has four in it right we'll see if this pays off team frog gun check out level two white magic what have we got it's crap yep which is fine with the red mage you want to see black magic look good anyway oh beautiful Ooh. Lightning 3, Ice 3, and now we're required Bane. Mm -hmm. This will level. Yeah, it's loaded pretty good. Two really good elementals and that Bane you're going to need. Mm -hmm. uh, Rojo has opted to clear the pirates first. Probably going to get necessary cash out of it. Hits level 5, and we get a Chime. Oh, this is this is looking pretty jetty so far. If we can find a floater, this is, this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Items. Well, there's our tents. That's bad news for Rojo. Yeah. Did he use a cabin, though? Maybe outside Topher? Did I miss it? I believe he did. I believe uh, that's why he already um, unmarked the spot. Got it. Eh, silver's plus five. Pretty good. Silver's plus five. Pretty really good. Yeah. If we have to use only blessed equipment, we do. So... That... 
gets us a square in column three that we can start using. Unfortunately, they took no nuns, so that column is already out. Mm. Oh, wait, that was a real hint. That was Ruby at Ordeals? No, Ruby at Sun Castle. I missed the text. Oh, Maybe Elfling Castle, perhaps? Uh, we do have that early herb. Elfling, Canaria, or Ordeals. Mm. One of them. One of them's got a Ruby. Demon Frog first out of Provoca as Rojo finishes the shopping trip. Where's Demon a going? Probably gonna go turn in that herb. But are we headed straight there? We are headed straight there. Okay. That's fine. Here comes the herb turn in. Let's go canoe. Uh, womp. Mm. <laughs> That's doubly bad for Demon Frog. He can't even use it. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to give that right back to the kindly little prince. Yeah. I went all this way and you gave me a house. Yeah. But I'm leaving. I don't even want. I don't even want health property. Level three, we got some some red learnable fade. Right. Some not red learnable right. gear four. All right. Well, red mage has got the AOE right now. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Uh, I missed level three black, but at level four white, we've got expert if we're feeling zesty and fast. You like seeing fast in the first four levels? Sure. Not bad. Lots of hype in chat for Lamp. Looking at the armor store. Uh, buying regular old iron armor. Well, we had chain minus armor, so Demon yeah. is not going to be taking the use only blessed equipment tile, which is locking us out of column three and row five. And I have to assume that with the tile unlit, uh, column three, row five is also going to be locked out mm. for Roach. Is that a real hint NPC? I was studying the bingo board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the Too Late to Look edition of the Final mm. Fantasy Randomizer Bingo Tournament. <laughs> what do we got in Melman Armor Shop? We got garbage. Yeah. But we're buying it anyway. Interesting. Maybe he's doing uh, column one there, collect wood, iron, and steel armors. Ooh, that could be it. That mm. could be it. Uh, level five, we had red learnable heal three. That seems good. Meanwhile, in black, we've got temper quadex warp, quadex after promotion. Mm. Couldn't tell if Rojo was just burning encounters or trying to maybe take a few fights, but something looked nasty and he reset right out of it. I haven't seen anything. I want... Well, he's he's going all fades, all nukes. Something in here must have spooked him. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, question in chat. Did either render um, box down Garland? No, neither of them did. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, as our tracker Shadow Flames pointed out, that uh, row two is required, so we need that wood armor. We needed it at some point, as we also needed the iron armor, and at some point we're going to need the steel armor. Mm-hmm. This is looking very interesting with what they're going to have to do here. I mean, row two, you know, force on both of them, pretty good, not bad. I got to say, Demon might have a little bit of an advantage right now, having only one more tile to go in that row four. It's, it might be tough for Rojo to find something else that's not... Uh. The, the only notable downside is that Demon is locked into looking for that Maza, mm -hmm. which means... We're going to have to clear a lot of stuff looking for it. Also, Hint NPC in Melman says that the key is in Crescent Lake. 
Okay. Uh, which demon is going to find imminently as soon as we finish our Crescent Lake area grind. Uh, meanwhile, Rojo checking tiles and Earth Cave. We got four to seven sorcerers, which is fine. Yeah. It's almost top ten, but it's notably under it. Yeah. Nuke will make short work of them, though. There could be some quick levels here. Mm -hmm. And decent cash, too. And Hydrogator. Uh, fine until we're above 10, other than that, pass. Yeah, and they hit also, really hard. Peter. Also, everything has melee, so mm, maybe double pass. Yeah. Question in chat. Is Mazda not incentivized? It is. However, worth noting that with the four free orbs... We want to be going to as few extra locations as possible. So every extra incentive dungeon that we dive is just more minutes stacked onto the timer. Huh. And Demon, Frog, Demon Frog gets a crown, which tells me that it was the key for sale, I think. Yeah, I did not see him check the item shop, though. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Either he checked, and we were too late to look, hashtag trademark, or <laughs> uh, he knows that he's only got 100 gold, and yeah. it doesn't matter what's there, it, yeah. he just doesn't want it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, chat pointing out that uh, he was for sale, and actually he bought it. Okay, oh. we got it. Okay. Very good. Out. Very good. So Rojo is doing a cheeky dive of Earth. Was there exit for sale? No, we didn't have exit for sale. But this might be this might be that play of what if floater. Yeah. What if? Yeah. And we got a canoe. That's mm. that's really pretty good as well. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah. We, we like those. Now we're just going to have to get out of here. So, Rojo finds an image fight, which is notable in that we're going to need stuff. Yeah. And, boy, Column 2 is starting to look more and more good as time goes on. We saw our status element skill or spell. Um, and we need to kill three different ghosts. Mm -hmm. uh, that's enemies with the ghost sprite. Images is one of them. We also got to track down one of ghosts or shadows or wraiths, uh, which are generally easy to find. Uh, while Demon Frog solves the mystery of where was that gosh dang ruby, it was Canaria Castle. Uh, question in chat. Do both of the runners only have mages? No, both of the runners have a fighter and two black mages. However, the difference is Demon Frog is running a red mage, whereas Rojo is running a white mage. So, part of the um hmm. Yeah, part of the part of the fun of being forced row two is that they had to start with either zero or three black belts. Uh which and they also decided that um one of the tiles that they really, really wanted out of the gate was take two black mages. So that kind of explains the very, very similar parties we got going on. Yeah, I can, I can get behind taking two black mages almost any time. So that's good. <laughs> oh, good question in chat. Uh, what is the difference between a white mage and a red mage? There's actually kind of a lot. White mages are what you think of as like the traditional like white mage priest like we've only got our cloth armor or our bracelets we don't have any melee we can't equip anything um but we get access to all white magic one through six and one slot of seven or maybe two slots of seven and then after promotion we get access to all white magic one through eight easy red mage red mage gets access to most of one through uh five black magic and kind of a lot of one through five white magic. Uh, but in exchange for that, they can equip basic fighter armor. They can equip basic fighter swords. Um, they generally have more health. Um, and after promotion, they get the lion's share 
uh, one through six black magic and one slot seven, and they get kind of a lot of um, one through six white magic. Um, so really, it's a question of how much white magic do we want, and do we want to do sword swingy stabby things when we're not casting white magic? Rojo took a wipe on the way out with uh, Wizards with Glare, too, so he's diving back in for that canoe. And we got Demon Frog getting the tail out of Astos. Uh, we've not seen Quake yet, have we? Quake was level 6, Crescent Lake. Oh, okay. It, it was. So it Quake is uh, Mage Learnable, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, with Quake access, with Bane access, I don't necessarily know that we need to promote. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rojo on a second trip through Earth Cave. Gotta carry that canoe out. Canoe is vital mm -hmm. progression that unlocks one, two, three, four more incentive locations. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you, chat. Yes, we also have lamp access. Cannot forget. It's very important. The memes must be served. Yes. Part of me feels like Demon actually might have liked to find that tail, too, because if he's going to be going for row four and throwing that mass out, he's going to maybe want to promote to be able to equip, like, a Vorpal if he finds it or some other kind of decent weapon on that fighter. So That's true. It's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I can see that. Um, I'm more fan of uh, throwing all caution to the wind and going with three black belts, but yeah, speed and power. Yeah, they find a good grind tile. They can get some levels on these mages. It's certainly a viable strat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just dan um, one of the black mages or the red mage if we find life somewhere and we decide we need it. Mm -hmm. um, grind to three up to thirty-two. And then um, just do the rest of the game as normal, and then flip to three black belts before Topher. Yeah. Easy peasy. Haven't seen many of them check the uh, the clinics, which are also turned into pubs slash taverns, so you can hire a uh, a fellow adventurer. Haven't seen any of them check, so I don't know if we found black belts yet, but I'm sure we will at some point. So the two possibilities are we either don't want to try and hold it in our brain right now because bingo is kind of daunting. Like, there's a lot of moving parts and you have to remember when you have to stick your hand out and clamp down on one of the gears and go, no, 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 don't, don't do this. I'm specifically told not to do this. Mm -hmm. Or we just don't care. <laughs> now we're just going to ride fighters to the finish line. Yeah. So Sarda gets us. What was that out of Sarda? Crystal. Crystal. Okay, back in the bus. Yeah. Into the inner sea. Everybody back in the boat. We're going for a trip. Mm -hmm. As Rojo, killing some sorcerers, mayhaps a grind. I think nope. He's getting a few levels. Maybe gonna house up, tent up. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if this is carrying our victory canoe out and hoping hoping for a better tile elsewhere uh i can i can respect that decision i'd make the same decision myself mm -hmm. because yeah sorcerers sure they're they're never going to kill you um but could we be faster yeah <laughs> So coming up on the 20 minute mark, Demon Frog, having done Ruby turn and stuff, is going to be heading. No, Demon's going to check Earth while he's here, going to get the news about Canoe. Probably mm -hmm. also looking for, looks like he's looking for cash and or gear. Given that he we're running a fighter, boy, a ribbon is a lot more important than it used to be. Right. Um, while Rojo is... Hmm. World's kind of Rojo's oyster at this point. He has a lot of options he could go with. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. I saw him buying spells for that white mage that was taking a nap, and I'm like, is he going to bring her back up? And he does. As uh, Demon getting the bad news of these uh, wizards with cremate and glare. Yeah, it turns out Earth Cave was a bad time. Yeah. Alright, so where is Rojo going? Rojo's headed east. And probably going to make his Crescent Isle check, get his crown, get his key, and then probably just head on over to Volcano and Ice to dig out two more incentives. Yeah. Steel armor for sale there in the shop as well, and fairly on the cheap side, and only about 8,000, which is great for filling out that uh, last tile for row two. Yep, Rojo's gonna pick it up now, so mm -hmm. he doesn't have to worry about it later. Yep. And load up on some very cheap pro rings. Yeah. So with with seeing the hold, uh, Demon Frog also has his see a status element skill or spell. If for whatever reason we decide that digging for the Maza is not the thing we want to do, mm -hmm. Column Two is starting to look like a backup play. Yeah. We just got to get. Oh uh, no. Yeah. Those, those Georges aren't playing nice. Earth Cave is a bad time. Hashtag yeah. Never Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rojo gets the news about the mandatory quake, gets the crown, bought the key, finds out about the tail in Northwest Castle. Worth noting, I don't think Demon Frog has talked to a single hint NPC so far. And while it may look like he has the key item lead, most of that, I think, is due to some unfortunate wipes by Rojo in mm -hmm. Earth Cave. Mm -hmm. The very same wipes that Demon Frog is embarking on right now. Yeah. Yeah, Rojo seems terrified of these sea encounters. There must be... Sa uh, the Sahags aren't doing anything. Hmm. Or maybe we've just decided that blowing them up is faster than running away. It could be. I know usually I'll throw like run run nuke run on there and you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. It's true that usually the best strategy for any given encounter is to make sure that it's over in one round. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes four runs don't do it. Four runs is just, you know, four can't runs. Yep. Uh, and then you have to input stuff again, whereas three runs in a nuke, uh, that'll get you out. One way or the other, you will be done with that encounter right. by the time the round finishes. All right, Rojo picking up his tail. Check these spike tiles here, too. I don't think we saw these. No, I don't believe we did. See if we got a prize. We got nope. Mm. I mean, sure, nuke can nuke can fade while we're here. We're yeah. not gonna say no to experience when we're this low level. LOL asps with mute. <laughs> but what's our second prize? It's Gershark Shark. Is if the Gersharks roll up on health, this is a bad time. Let's find out. 214 uh, 380-ish less than that that's not awful it's, with with two nuke slingers and a fade slinger that's not the worst yeah but rojo decides nope we don't want to probably hit too hard we out yeah uh tempts the fate of rng by not saving upon leaving I don't even think he's cured his poison yet. <laughs> uh, oh, he doesn't have any pure. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna keep on going though. Always, always leave Canario with pure as kids. Yeah. Like, 
a quarter of the things in the game can cause poison, and they've just been shotgunned out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Take your <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see this crystal turn in by Demon Frog here. Been waiting for this for a little bit. So Rojo is on his way to Titan's Tunnel. Did we get a ruby? We're acting like we got a ruby. He doesn't have one in his inventory. Let's see key chime. Yeah. And no. Yeah, sure is an inventory without a ruby. Yeah. What, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal to adamant. All right, everyone back in the bus. <laughs> I mean, at least these turn-ins are relatively close to each other. That's True. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing's worse than getting the herb and thinking you're big brain and going to the outside port down there south of Elfland, getting a, a crystal and having to turn around and go back into the inner sea and just, you know, yep. great. Yep. Sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... I love docking at the Elfland South dock mm -hmm. for, like, herb turn-ins or whatever. The worst thing in the world is when you do the herb turn-in and it's just like, here's a crystal, and it's just like, oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Good job, game. Yeah. Uh, and Adamant turns into Rod. All right. Well, we need that, so that's good. Well, we kind of need it. Uh, we could well, take true. our true. kill yeah. Lich with Quake and do Lich 2 in Tover. We could do that. That's true. I always forget that Quake has still about a 25% chance to hit on Lich 2 as well. He's, he's just such a nice boss. Lich, Lich 2 is not a boss, and no one will convince me otherwise. <laughs> uh, question, question in chat. Can you sail south from the Elfland Dock and get to Machoya from the River Dock? You can, it just takes a while. Yeah. You gotta sail around the northern continent that has uh, ordeals there. So, yes, you can get there, but it's probably even a little quicker just to still sail inside. Yeah. Well, it depends on what your destination would be after that. That's true. Um, if we're looking, if we're... If that crystal turns into a floater, that's mm -hmm. like the saddest fate. Yeah, um, yeah. But if we're like diving into ordeals after, everything is fine. If it's a dwarf cave turn in, we get sad again. Yeah. Um... Chat commenting, no one talks to the Hooray Dwarf. I know. It depresses me. Yeah. I always like to say hi to him. Always. Mm -hmm. you, you, you pat the Hooray Dwarf three times on the head to harness his luck. Yeah. Just want some head pats. Head pats are nice. loading up on heal pots in Crescent. Are we headed for Volcano Ice? I'm thinking that's probably the play here. You gotta think one of these locations <laughs> probably has your floater. I suppose it could still be in like Ordeals, but two checks here compared to one check there. Yep. You go. When in doubt, follow the numbers. Yeah. Unless you feel like you're a million miles behind, in which case, specifically, don't follow the numbers and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get reckless. Mm -hmm. So Demon Frog has lit the Collect and Keep Wood, Iron, and Steel Armor. That's one of the more... I don't want to call it tedious, but, I mean, it's literally a shopping list. Yeah. It's a, make sure you have these things clogging up your armor inventory... Um, before you hit Topher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Demon's taking the bro party, I see. Yep. yep. It's per really good. Um, so Rojo, we got the crystal, and we got... Um, what was the other thing there? The Oxiel, I think. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Demon Frog, we're headed straight to ice. I like right. that play. I like that play. We got warp charges? He did no. pick up warp. Warp was level 5. 
Oh, maybe. I saw Rojo pick it up, so I gotta figure Demon picked it up while he was there, too. Yeah, maybe. Oh, but we got the Ogre Police. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta slow down. We gotta hold you for... We, we just gotta hug you. We gotta slow you down. Mm -hmm. Every Everyone's acting too ambitious. You just calm down. Yep. Is that Demon with single-digit cash? I thought that was... <laughs> Maybe I did the thread. <laughs> oh no! Chat confirms. Left with exactly zero gold. Das efficiency. Wow, that's. <laughs> the, you know, we need a tile that says that somewhere. That would be quite the accomplishment. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a level of math I never want to do. So I do like this play by Demon. If I'm going to be clearing out ice and volcano. Even if they're both incentivized, I do like going to ice first, just because it's a little bit farther away to me. But, you know, with nuke and fade, it's cool. So, demon's looking for something. Might be looking for that other ghost pack, or zombie pack, Maybe. too. Yeah. Here's Wraiths. Uh, oh, yeah, zombies. So, we gotta look for Geist Inspectors in here, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure why we didn't kill them in Earth. Um... Yeah, it goes, we get the Wraith out of this, and so now we're just looking for Shadows or Ghosts. Um, Pretty sure he got Shadows and Eye Mages over there in Earth as yeah. well. Hmm. Maybe just making sure? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, meanwhile, Rojo, uh, do, so not uh, abandoning the Ice and Volcano play, going for the Waterfall or Deals Gamble. Okay. Let's see if we can dig a floater out of this. It's a race. Yeah. Yeah, we're acting like we got warp charges. No, we're not. Huh. Steak uh, no, is we're good. Tile. Steak's fine. Steak is um, good. We got the wrong party to grind it, but yeah. I mean, it, it exists. He's got like 500 plus HP to pass. Think back on what demon had demon killed over in the earth cave area i want to say he got images and i don't think he saw shadows i could have sworn he saw shadows walking over to titan tunnel to turn in that ruby hmm. Hmm. either way he knows what he's doing and i'm sure he'll find another one shortly yeah rojo is going to be first First to check in on the 25% floater gambit. What do we got? What we got? What we got? No, we got some boxes. We got two bucks. We got a house. We got 60 cents. We got a heal pot. We got a light shirt. And two bucks. Oh, oh we wow. got a floater. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so demons in trouble. Plot thickens. Um, yeah. This is uh, the technical term for this is a bad thing for demon. Um, Rojo's going to be able to do a lot more exploration. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to check white magic. We got life two, but I believe that's promotion locked. It is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's no, it's not. Oh, oh score. Okay, cool. We can't cast it yet, but we got it. Yeah, pretty cheap, too. Meanwhile, Demon Frog uh, finds uh, the number five tile, Gershark Big Eye. Take it. Yeah, that's nice. And if the big eyes rolled low and we know the Gersharks rolled low, yeah, we could just park here for a bit. Womp womp is a yeah, slap. Yeah. Well, but we're gonna eat some Gershark Big Eye for a bit. Well the Gersharks rolled under 306 HP, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rojo in C. Doing well, Joe. Oh, we're digging for ghosts. Mm. That's what we're doing. I don't mind digging for ghosts, but 
it feels real bad if we don't have another reason to be in the sea shrine and i feel like that's where we are right now i, I mean you know what i like it <laughs> i can respect that move <laughs> Screw your way, Dwarf. I'm going to say hi to the TFC chest three times. Sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, go for it. No guts, no glory. Yeah. So, the grind continues on Demon Frog screen. What level are we up to? Level 21, across the board. Uh, very, very good. I'm curious to know where he'll stop. We don't have any forced get X level tiles mm -hmm. and with stats of bosses so boss offensive stats are 50 to 200 boss health stats are 100 to 200 how high and we're going to be throwing a Mazo away how high are we going to go we're leaving now but I have a feeling that that's not necessarily being happy with our levels as it was running out of gas yeah Meanwhile, Rojo continuing what I can only assume. This has to be, yeah. Ghosts. It has this to be. Gotta be hunt for ghosts. Yeah. I mean, we'll know when he lights up that tile when he finds one. Then where he's at. But I could have sworn that all of them have seen three ghosts by now. But I mean, I guess I'm just combining both streams at the same time in my head. Possibly. That that might be it. And I feel like I'm doing the same thing. So, coming up on the 36 minute mark, Demon Frog Triumphant from Ice Cave is going to go to yet another place where the floater isn't, mm -hmm. Volcano. Uh, whereas Rojo is playing Ghost Hunter. Yeah, this this is kind of weird too. Whenever I'm in Sea Shrine, ghosts show up all the time. And now, I don't know where they rolled in this encounter table, but Rojo can't find them at all. I wouldn't say all the time. I would say that I'll usually see them, like, once a dive, mm. but that's a whole dive of me, like, trundling from the door to crack it. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of sea shrine. So, looks like we've given up the hunt for ghosts, and we're going to go look for one of the easier sprites to collect elsewhere. Uh, good call on Rojo's part. Yeah. Uh, what are we still missing? We don't have a cube. Uh, I would like to see us stopping at ordeals on our way to turn in that floater. Yeah, I like that play. I'm a big fan of parking the uh, boat right there at the river dock and just grabbing something real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Demon still opening a lot of boxes, almost certainly on the hunt for some endgame gear, but with us being randomized treasures instead of shuffled treasures, this might be a fool's pursuit. Mm. And Rojo bypasses ordeals, going straight for the boat. Um, with a cube in the wind, I get nervous about this, mm -hmm. but if cube is somewhere that's not ordeals, uh, this is the correct play. Yeah. I mean, we're also looking for loot, but I still think we have a dud loose somewhere. I think there is one more dud out there, sure. So if that duds or deals, this is fine. Oh, tail turn in. That's what we're doing. Promote. Promote as soon as possible. And Rojo confirmed, unmarked the do not use warp because he's been using warp a bunch. This is fine. Mm -hmm. It's not in our required row and it's not in any of our possible follow up rows. I'm a very, very big fan of just throwing away tiles in inconvenient places that you're never going to need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just taking a look at the flags. There is one more dud location out there for sure, so... Mm -hmm.
So Demon Frog finds an Ankylo tile. We uh, we don't like those. There's a Zeus Gauntlet. We're gonna bypass that. It solves problems we don't currently have. Uh, meanwhile, Rojo checking TOF locked. It's a garbage tile. Nope, we out. The way Demon's digging, I gotta think he's looking for some kind of endgame sword. He just, he has to be. Yep, yep. that's, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, so, there comes a point where, let's, let's look at what we've got. Let's, let's, so, Demon's potential second bingo row is either check a Maza off the deck, or go to Marsh to talk to Bats, and because we already done Ice Cave, go to Marsh and kill Shadows. Mm -hmm. At this point, I think I'd rather just keep the Maza and just take a two-minute trip to Marsh. Yeah, I I agree with that. It's You're starting to spend a little bit more time opening boxes than you would trying to do those other few tiles, and I mean, yeah, you want to get gear, that's fine, but mm -hmm. I mean, the less boxes you open, the better. And Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to say something about how we found slab and ice, and this is going to be bottle and volcano, and now it's uh -huh. floater, where are you, and demon's going to be okay. <laughs> so so demon's grinding his teeth, having just found the two things that he needs floater to do something with, but not the floater he wants to do them with. Um, and we're just going to go blow up a carry. He's going to confuse a carry, according to that tile that's been lit up. Interesting. What? Uh, is Demon going for triple bingo? What are we doing here? He well, he got it first shot with that wizard staff. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure, cool wizard staff, great, but just just, just triple nuke carry. Yeah. All over. I mean, could he be pivoting here and looking at column four as well? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, meanwhile, Rojo has found two to three blue detail in Volcano and has decided, you know what? Let's start a grind here. We're going to Dan this White Mage, and then what are we going to Dan down to? Are we going to keep... Oh, is this going to be the Dream? No, because that would leave us with a White Mage and Topher with our three Black Belts. I mean, it's kind of a Dream. It's almost a Dream. It's like it's like the safe security blanket version of a dream, uh, <laughs> instead of the. comment in chat column four is very easy outside of the zombies which is required anyway given you've confused carry already that's true yeah and with his spending a hundred thousand gold in a shop he, he he, did he just buy 10 keys <laughs> that's one just, way to do it yeah i think he just bought 10 keys I, you know what that's one way to do it that's fine so now we just gotta hunt down zombies uh i know i saw him blow up geist inspectors and ice yeah so now we're just on the hunt for zombies and tof and uh and marsh and ghouls in tof and marsh oh hang on though zero cool well that, that's true zero cool pointing out that uh he has to unlight the caster items after using that wizard staff but that's okay if he's pivoting to column four here because he still needs to do row two yep yeah i have bonked demon over the head in race chat he will be unlighting that momentarily. Mm -hmm. All right, now Demon needs to go to see the robot here. You you don't want to see him pivot and head to ordeals and cost himself some more time. Mm -hmm. We know that he doesn't know that. Right. Um. And it looks like he forgot something. What you do when are we are we loading up on heal bots? 
in our key buying frenzy. Oh no, we need to load up on tents. Yep, yep. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're buying spells and crap. We got our fasts, we got our locks. Uh, meanwhile, Rojo is down to the solo knight against Blue Deeds. Um, scary. They, scary. They hit hard. They they hit they hit really very kind of hard. Oh. And they're slinging thunder. Ouch! Ouch! Yeah, two to three Blue Deeds is monumental amounts of risk mm -hmm. uh, for what, as it turns out, isn't even the top 10 tile. So I was running a practice seed today. Where does the four gas dragons fall on your list of tiles there? Uh, third. Third. I thought it was top three. Yep. That was my guess. So, Rojo is just going to take the easy boxes in Volcano, probably going to head down to the bottom. Uh, oh, he... He warped he out at some point. Went down. Yeah, he warped out to save when he went down to two. Okay. And must have tried... Okay, so, the wipe not as disastrous as initially feared. Yeah, that feels less uh, bad. And, I mean, yeah, we can't bring the other two back to life, but it's Volcano and we just did a tiny grind. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Demon Frog gonna get the good news about the floater and waterfall. Just past the 46 minute mark, let's take a look at where we sit. We've got Demon Frog, who is one shared tile away from getting his second bingo, but mm -hmm. still has the two annoying ones the defeat Lich with Quake and defeat Tiamat with Bane still to go. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Rojo. Rojo has many paths open to him. Um, he's in almost the same situation on the required row. He's missing one of the wood, iron, or steel armor. I think it's the iron armor, mm -hmm. um, which there's like two or three shops that have it. That's that's an that's an easy thing to fix. Uh, his for his second bingo, I believe he's still committed to kill three different ghosts, which probably means he's on the hunt for one of shadows, images, or wraiths. Probably the shadows. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just talk to five bats in marsh, which is easy. Yeah. So all in all, this seems pretty competitive so far. Yeah, I agree. And they both have that nasty defeat Lich with Cake and defeat Team Out with Bane. So no one has any advantage of having their opponent having to do it and them not. Mm -hmm. right, so oh, interesting. Rojo walking out the bottle rather than just bowling through carry. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Rojo gonna turn in that bottle. I don't think he got the slab from Ice Cave unless he translated it real quick when I wasn't looking. I don't believe he did. Hmm. Uh, level 7 lock 2, sure. Yeah. And level 7 exit. Okay, sure. Kraken has a good chance to one-shot your knight. Thank you, Hinton. Peace be. <laughs> There's the iron armor. Uh, comment to chat. Carry could have could have had some nasty skill or spell. Um, get him not wanting to take a look. I get it as the safety play, but for a lot of these races, sometimes sometimes you have to know when to push your luck. Mm -hmm. And uh, a very very big knight and a level 1 nuke slinging black mage, I feel like would have been more than a match for carry 1. Um, but I've been wrong before. 
So who knows what the right play might have been. All right, yeah, Demon gonna do the play that I like to make here. He's gonna translate that slab and then double dip that continent and do the bottle turning and the slab turning at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Yep. Whenever you can get slab and bottle together, oh, it's so good. Yep. Was that a massa minus five? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I I mean, you know what? It massa, fine. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> The most minimum quality Mazza we could muster, but there's some quality of Mazza in there. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling as, as soon as Demon sees that, he's going to wish that he committed to throwing it off the edge. <laughs> um, be interesting to see if he starts opening boxes again. Yeah. So take a look at the magic here. So Temper was level 5, and we have Fast level 4, so we can do some things to get that Massa online a little bit, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, minus 5 is still, you know, minus 5. Uh, we're just gonna... So, to get our 5th hit with that Massa, we need to get our Knight to 29, which feels real bad when we decided not to go uh, the power of 3 Black Belts for this. Mm-hmm. But, eh, yeah. Rojo's Knight is already 26, so almost all the way there. Is he going back to those blue dragons? Oh, Rojo, please. That's bold. Mm. This, it, it's so scary. Yeah. I don't recall seeing... I don't recall seeing a ribbon, so Thunder kind of kills us. Um, oh, they have 300-ish health, because I know at 220, yeah, 200 keeps them alive, 300 does not. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be over here biting my nails. <laughs> this is definitely a tempting fear. Oh, slow. Mm. Nope, abandoned mm. ship. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now we just got to get out of this encounter, which at 26, we have an okay run chance. Could be better, could be worse. LOL, who's... Okay, now let's fire hose some more heal pots. I feel like... Rojo is taking this because Rojo has been to a lot of different places and has decided this is the least bad solo tile that I've found. Mm -hmm. So it's this or nothing. Unfortunately, there is a better one in Ice that Demon took a party grind on. Um, I respect going with the whole you know, we're here, let's just do this. Uh, Manage to dodge slows out of the blue D's. That's good. Uh, whereas Demon Frog gets the very necessary cube out of the slab turn in. Yeah, so... Demon Frog and then probably just shoot right over and just climb up the Sky Tower and uh, give some poison smoke to TM out. <laughs> and then I would expect him then to probably just head right on over to Topher, walk around a little bit, try to find those zombies to finish out that for uh, zombie tile, and then just dip right down and go after okay. Lich. Uh, all please rise. Uh, this run is blessed. Mm. The sighting of the blue stake. Love me some blue stake. My favorite enemy in the game. It is the highest in, the highest experience um, overworld encounter in the game. Um, ordinarily, it's slot eight, but due to rando magic, sometimes you can find them off the power cycle. I love using tents as heal pots. It's great. Yeah, you just just chew on most <laughs> of the big five sporting goods, and you'll be fine. <laughs> And look, to your point, Demon gonna just take a peek at a few more boxes here, see if he can find something better than that mass of minus five. As yeah, this... Nope. Yeah. We've decided... Nope, we don't want to deal with it. Nope. Yeah. This is... We're opening too many boxes. This is taking too long. We hate chimeras. Yeah, they got nope. about 500 yeah. HP on those chimeras. A 480 swing didn't take them down, so... Yuck. You run into a four-pack of that. No thanks. Yeah, chimeras are almost always... Uh never worth the experience to take down. 
Uh, oh, interesting. So, Rojo has hit level 40 on his giant Knight of Doom. Mm -hmm. This opens up. We don't have to go to Marsh now. Um, no, because he's been using cabins and houses, so top left, bottom right is out. Never mind. Huh. I wonder what he was thinking here, then. So the, so, the beauty of Bingo is that both runners see the Bingo card at once. And one of the greatest mind games you can do is lighting that hit level 40 on at least one character, because that sends the message, oh god, they have a level 40 something. Mm -hmm. It's either a knight, well, in this case, not a black belt, but it's like a knight or something. Uh, when they start moving again, they're going to be moving at an unbelievable speed. Yeah. And, and uh, the pressure of that is real. Um, as, as someone who has inflicted it and been inflicted by it, mm -hmm. the pressure is real. Uh, demon open boxes of convenience. We got these five over here. And nothing helpful. <sighs> Meanwhile, Rojo continuing to grind our... We're at level 45. Are we headed to 50? He just burned his last heal pot, so... Okay, there he goes. Oh, maybe this was until we were... Until we ran out of heal pots. 45 is the magic number. Uh, Let's go to the party store, get the rest of the party, and figure out what we're doing with our lives. Yeah. And Rojo... Yeah, go to the party member store as Demon Frog... Gotta get that loot, which is here. No, it's not here. That's a dud. Oh. Uh, pack, pack your bags. We're going to ordeals. Yes. Yeah. Plot twist. It was ordeals the whole time. Hey, remember that time I said I wanted to be good grounding if we did if, if we did the ordeals along the way. Yeah, you mean 20 minutes ago when you were saying it'd be good to pick up ordeals real quick if we're you know still in the boat? Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. So the good news is that. This is going to apply to both of our runners. Um, meanwhile, uh, Rojo has just let me kill three different ghosts. Uh, so it looked like he needed uh, images or rates to round out the three. Mm -hmm. um, as chat is asking about a Warmech, uh, Warmech in these flags is patrolling. So uh, it's entirely up to the runners whether they want it or not. In Demon Frog's position, it would be a heck of a gamble. But if we're unsure about levels, I could see doing it. Um, in Rojo's position, hard pass. Yeah. Uh, Rojo stopping off the ice cape. Going to pick up his slab here. And here we go. It's tea time. How long is it going to take? How many banes do you think is it going to take? Bane us a Dargan. Uh, one. Why <laughs> That's not? That's cheating and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bane. Uh. Ooh. Second Bane. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's, that's cool. Yeah. So, Demon Frog has lit, uh, one of the two, what I would call, most dangerous tiles uh, that our runners are having to deal with. Um, we still got to hunt down those zombies, though. I know he's got, I know he's got Spectre Geist. We just got to find zombie ghouls. Mm -hmm. As Rojo is working to reclaim some of that lost momentum, gotta get some magic. Gotta get some. Tempers? I mean, sure. Yeah. Quad X, why not? Sure. Oh, wow. Well, double Bless. Another blue stake. That's 27 across the board for Demon Frog right there. Give 
given the bosses that we're working with, I feel a lot more comfortable with a five hit Mazza as opposed to a four hit Mazza. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we're close enough that we'll probably just hit 29 and tow for him. Right. Is he? Oh, and Demon is specifically forbidden from using warp given his chosen second row. Yeah. So. Get ready for a lot of grumbling. Yep. I'm just happy he didn't, like, you know, rage hit it real quick, because I might have <laughs> done that. <laughs> that felt real bad. Oh, yeah. But he makes it through. That wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. Quick little detour. E suburbs versus. Sure. As Rojo rounds the corner, headed to Lafayne, gonna get his cube. Uh, Demon Frog electing to open the free boxes in Ordeals. This is our last ditch effort to find something that's not a Maza minus five. And he could still check validate. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, we find an X count See, minus three. How about that? The thing with the monkey's paw. Yeah. You gotta be specific with your requests. Yep, yep. We asked for something that wasn't a Mazza minus five. The monkey's paw curled its finger. We get an X-Cal minus five. Yeah. Yeah. Just as good, <laughs> if not worse. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. And it looks like... Oh, yeah. We'll take an Agamatile. Sure. Yeah. Top off our level real quick. Yeah. Now that this is garbage swords dot seed. So just crossing the hour mark here... I think I got to give Demon Frog obviously a little bit of an advantage, even though um, technically neither runner is in go mode yet. I think Demon's path here is going to be a little more streamlined than what Rojo has to do. Is this not go mode? What did we get from here? TNT. Oh, TNT. Well, so that's going to turn into... It will uh, lead to it, but it, it's going to be another yeah. stop you have to do on the way. Sure. Um, I give the edge to Demon Frog at this point, but it's... It's it's sketch, mm. right? Because mm -hmm. the time we're spending on this grind is just handing time over to someone who's bigger, stronger, and faster than we are. Mm -hmm. um, and that, I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. If I were in Demon's position, I would throw, I'd throw the concrete on the gas because we got stuff to do. Yeah. Yes, we yes we can look at the board and see that we're up a um, we're up a sky dive, mm -hmm. but we don't know if Rojo is on like Bridge of Destiny, and right now he's on Star Shape Floor, mm -hmm. so that 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 known lead is going to disappear probably by the time Demon gets to turn in that TNT, and we don't know if Rojo did that. Yeah, that's true. Comment in chat, if they did find a katana plus five, they might be able to switch to a ninja. Uh, I guess. I, every time I have bet on the ninja to carry my endgame DPS, it's let me down. Mm -hmm. Every time, mm -hmm. it's let me down. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Rojo. Rojo getting saucy. Sure. Five hits for 131 out of the night. Let's do some fades. Sub 100. Let's do some nuke. 107. Incoming ice 3. Lots of damage across the board. Outgoing nuke for 105. That was a real, real bad round. Let's see if we can... Same but different. Now we're going to do some healing strats. Heal 3 goes off. Let's recover some health. That's a lot of health being recovered. Nuke goes out for 136. Swing! 6 hits for 154. Nuke for 143. Incoming lightning 2. Does lightning 2 things. Although that was kind of a lot to the white mage. Uh, next verse, same as the second. Nuke goes out for 318. That's a real number. Heal 3 goes out. We're going to survive most of what's going to come at us. Swing, 5 hits for 52. Fire 3 incoming. This is why we didn't want to take this fight if we didn't have to. Nuke mm -hmm. goes out for 101. This is a lot of time. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. That was a cure 4. Yeah. Uh, time... So we're starting over. How about we find that fast and temper and treat this like a real boss fight? Yep. Incoming heal three does heal three things. 
Are we gonna go for it? Yep, it's temper time. Yep, he's unrunnable too, so he has to do this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use our last um, heal three. We're gonna double temper. Demon Frog is continuing the hunt for his two remaining zombies. Two hits for 210. Technically, that's more power, but that's a lot less hits. We're going in the wrong direction. And, oh, Rojo doesn't have level 4 spells, so we don't have fast. Mm. Uh -oh. oh, there's a lock. There's another lock. Incoming zap. This is, uh-oh, down goes two kind of necessary mages. One very much for wanting that Tia. Quad X, ineffective. Lock 2, easy to hit. Swing, 6 hits for 349. We need a lot more. I'm seeing a lot of spells. Oh, Incoming boy. Incoming nuclear. This fight needs to be over now. 6 hits, 473. It is... Okay. Okay. Wow. We're going to file this under why uh, you don't do a swagger lap on Warmax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Demon Frog, it was Shadows that he's needed. He's killed Shadows in here. Um, so he's got that. And it looks like he's pivoting to... Um, Oh, he was kind of pivoting, but he needs those four zombies. We we got to find the zombies and ghouls, um, which I believe are only first. They're either only first floor or first and second floor. Meanwhile, a Tia fight. Let's try some Bane strats. Bane? Ineffective. Incoming hit. Four hits, 53. Let's try it again. We got five more shots of this. Ice 2 happens. Bane. Ineffective. Knight is going to continue to stand around. Incoming Fire 2 does Fire 2 things. Ooh, that was actually kind of a lot to the Black Mage. Bane, ineffective. I would consider chugging ice er, chugging heal pots at this point. Bane, ineffective. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No. No, no, no. Ro Rojo, no. Rojo, no swing. Rojo, no swing. Bane. Ineffective. Nothing happens. Fire 2. Mm. One more shot. Can we do it? Ineffective. That is a reset. Yeah. Do all Mirage Sky over again. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Com comment in chat. Does he have the Bane Sword? I have not seen a Bane Sword as we are on randomized treasures. Yeah. So I don't know. And to make, to take this from bad to worse for Rojo, Demon Frog found his zombie ghoul pack. He has the four zombies. Demon Frog is Tofer bound. Yep. Oh, uh, you just you feel for Rojo there. He was trying to maybe grab a few more levels on those mages and Warmech being unrunnable and uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, while a forty five knight is no joke, a man a Maza minus five is a joke leaving us in kind of an unfortunate position on that one. Mm -hmm. So, Demon Frog loading up on some spells. Where? Must, this must be a final run. Um... This must be a, just a last-ditch effort to make sure that we've got every single possible thing we could need for a successful Topher dive. What was here that we wanted? Knights? Oh yeah, Knight of Faith. Yeah, that's fine. Seems good. Yeah, why not? Rojo already back to the Bridge of Destiny. He... No boxes stand in our way. No encounters stand in our way. I mean, except these. We're gonna bring uh, 12 shots to this Bane fight. See how it goes. We're going to double weight and we're going to Bane, Bane. 14 shots in this Bane fight. Bane number one. Nope. Sleep two. The White Mage falls asleep. Then wakes up again. Bane. Ineffective. Round two. Double the Bane. Double the fun. Bane number three. Poison smoke terminated. All right. That's the break. Rojo needed, but he's still quite... At least one Topher White behind, possibly two. Yeah. Rojo's still got to get his zombies and stop at Marsh oh, Cave. Oh, he's still got 
He's still gonna do ordeals. Oh, yeah, he, oh, yeah. Here's the thing, though. Demon Frog's party is a lot lower levels. Like, his primary DPS, significantly lower level. Mm -hmm. If he runs into trouble, Brojo can get back in this. Mm -hmm. Topher is always the great equalizer. Looks like Rojo checked. Level 3 white and black magic is still opting out of level 4 fast. And we're gonna talk to some bats. And we're gonna look for that zombie ghoul back. Mm -hmm. Demon Frog approaching Lich 2. Showing Lich 2 respect, which ordinarily I would scoff at. However, we have to kill him exclusively with Quake, so we could be here for a minute. Here we go. We're gonna stand around, and we're gonna dump some Quake. Here we go. Quake number one. <laughs> Thank you, Lich 2. Uh, Rojo, it seems, however, is going to be doing his zombie farming in TOF itself. He took quite a few encounters on that first marsh floor and decided that it just wasn't... it just wasn't lucky enough, so we're gonna dig for the two encounters here, hoping that they're better. Meanwhile, Demon Frog versus Carry 2. We swung before the double fa the triple fast? We really, really, really want this knight fast. And then we're just gonna nuke. Nuke for 106. Nuke for 158. Nuke for 165. Down goes carry two. Demon Frog on the water floor. Rojo still looking for zombie ghouls. Looks like this might not have been the thing we wanted either. Hmm. Kraken 2 inbound. Did some party jiggling. We're gonna do some white shirt. We're gonna do some lock. And a fast and a swing. Lock goes off first. This could be helpful. Punch comes in. There goes a black mage. Outgoing swing. Five hits for 345. Fast goes off after the nick of time. Round two. Double nuke swing. Here we go. Nuke for 160. Swing. 10 hits for 649. Kraken answers with a nuke of his own. The three party members are still up, but it's not looking good. Whoop, nuke for 197. Down goes Kraken 2 as Rojo comes up with a ghoul and is zombie locked from the Temple of Fiends revisited. Mm. Four worms. worms. Nice. That's the number one tile, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Uh, three to four worms is worth more than... Like, three worms is the lowest you can get, and three worms is worth more than, like, maximum sprite rolls for, like, most of the rest of the chart. <laughs> it's insane how much they're worth. Uh, sometimes they roll, like, 900 health, though, which is a bummer. Yeah. Let's begin. We got some mass. We don't have any life. So we're just going to leave that black mage face down. White shirt goes off. Incoming three hits for one.